Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in this video, I want to talk about creating, editing, and converting PDF files using PDF Element Professional. Now, we use PDF files all the time. We have seen PDF books, fillable forms, user guides, business documents, employment applications, and so on and so forth. And in this video, we will actually concentrate on creating and editing PDF files, as well as converting them to other formats such as Microsoft Word, or Excel. So for demonstration, what I will do is grab an existing PDF employment application template file that I downloaded from the internet and edit that to transform it into a Socky Tech employment application PDF file. And of course, you can also create documents from scratch using the same methods, but it's best to work with an existing template to show you the powerful editing tools built inside the PDF Element Pro. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch PDF Elements Pro, which is right over here. So when you launch it, uh, the first thing that you see is this main interface right over here. And as you can see, you can edit your PDF documents from here. You can create brand new documents from scratch. You can batch process documents, such as converting them from one format to another. And of course, you can individually convert uh, PDF documents uh, from PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, and all that good stuff. And you can also combine various different PDF documents. Now in this uh, tutorial, what I'm gonna do is to give you a highlight of what this is capable of, I'm gonna edit an existing PDF template document. So I'm gonna use this block right over here. Now when you click on it, it is going to ask you to choose an existing uh, PDF template. And I have this one right over here. This is a job application template. And I got this from the internet. So I'm gonna click open on it and it's gonna show right over here. Okay, now when you look on the top over here, you have all these various options. This is your functions menu on the top over here. So let's take a look at what's happening over here. So if I click on this button, the view button, uh, I can see all the pages. I have one and two pages. By the way, if you don't want a page from an existing template, you can just delete that page, no problem. So you can truncate documents as well. So let's go to the first page over here. And let me just click on view one more time and get the full view. Let's uh, click that, okay. So let's increase the size a little bit. Let's go to 150%, make it a little bit bigger and go to the top. So what I have over here is I have application for employment. That's what it's saying. And right now that is pretty bland. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually add an actual photo right over here. So to do that, what I wanna do is I wanna go to edit on the top. So I'm gonna go to edit. And then over here, you have the option to add text, add image and all that good stuff. So I wanna add my logo. So I'm gonna click on add image right over here. And then on my desktop, again, I do have a Socky Tech logo right here. I'm gonna import that. So click open, it gets dumped onto your PDF document, but you can move it anywhere, okay? So you can put it anywhere you want. So it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly right over here. So I'm gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna change the size just a little bit to make it more fit. And that's it. Now, this is my own PDF document. Now, one more thing, as you can see over here, we have fields into which people can type in their information. And over here, we have the descriptive text. All this is editable. So again, if I'm in the edit section, for example, over here, we have some text. I can just delete this text, okay? If I don't want it, I can delete it. Uh, this one can stay there, but if I don't want it, I can just take it off. And then let's say I wanna add something different. I can always um, click on edit again and add a text. And that is going to add a text anywhere that you bring this uh, mouse at. So I can tap on add text and add text anywhere I want. Uh, so one more thing I wanna show you guys is if you go to the form, it actually shows you all the uh, components of the actual form. I can highlight the fields that you can fill or unfill. So when I click on highlight fields, it shows me everything that's fillable. And inside this, I can have this text. Over here, I can have the address. And then this is the description, and this is where you actually fill in. So a, a person can just fill in over here uh, once I export this document. And if I do go back to edit, uh, let's say that I wanna change this over here. Instead of saying personal information, I wanna say personal, I can just uh, delete that, no problem. So now, as you can see, it says personal and it says name. Again, I'm doing that just to highlight the point. So now, this document is in fact ready for me to publish as my own because I took away all the other things. I put my logo up here. Uh, one more thing over here I can do is I can come over here, click on edit, click on edit and add a text. And what I can do is I can say job. Let's uh, expand this a little bit so I can expand the size of this just like that. So job application uh, four. Okay. 
So now, and I can move it around as I please. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the top here. Now that looks more like my own job application. And again, like I said, I can move this anywhere that I want. Uh, I can move it, let's put it in the middle over here and then expand this a little bit. Okay, so that looks much better. And then when I go to the uh, form page, uh, if I wanna make a change to any one of these things, I can make a change to the fields, or like I said, I can edit individual text documents here. Position applying for, okay? Take off the UR because they know that who's applying for it. And all these things I can edit over here. As you can see, every single thing is editable. Now once I'm done, I can click on file and I can say export, and then I can export this to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, EHub, uh, plain text, pages, HTML, RTF, whatever. But if I just wanna save it as a PDF document, I can just take save as, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, save as Saki Tech job app template. I'm gonna save this. Now when I go to the desktop, let's uh, go back to the desktop, launch that new application right over here, Saki Tech job application. This is the new form that we have, okay? Now I can distribute this and I can have people uh, use it to apply for jobs. And as you can see, anybody can come and fill this, okay? So I can type in Saki uh, address, blah, blah, blah. So that's just fantastic and it's fully customized as you can see. Uh, the original document is right over here, the job application template. As you can see, this does not look like a Saki Tech job employment uh, form, but this does, okay? So that's the power of PDF Element Pro. Now real quick, if you are inside PDF Element Pro, and let's say that you want to convert this uh, job application form to other formats as well, such as a Word document, which is very popular. You just click on convert right over here. Convert over here, and then you get all these options. So I'm going to click on to Word. I'm going to look at the options over here. Everything looks good. I'm going to click convert. Uh, I'm going to do it on the desktop. Click save. It says it's successful. I'm going to click finish. And then when I go back onto my desktop right over here, I have the Saki Tech job app temp doc file. So if I click this, it's gonna actually open this up uh, with the Word application, which I do have on my, on my uh, computer. It's a little old version, but look at that. It's now completely uh, workable on a Word document, all right? So that is, in fact, PDF Element Pro. I'm gonna drop a link to their website down in the description box down below. But like I said, let me just close this document here. Uh, you have all these various options you can do uh, to convert, create, and edit all kinds of PDF documents. I just use a job application template in this, in this uh, example, but you can do anything in any form. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And of course, like I said, the links to this application are down below. So if you are looking for a PDF, powerful PDF tool, uh, this actually is very cheap compared to some of the other alternatives out there. All right, so I'm gonna drop the link down below.